Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the Zag Toys, Happy Cat Industries, Super Action Stuff, Super Foodie Series, Accessory Pack Review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? The fuck out shit. This one for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel Legends, imports, many mate the I'm fucking with. High beast we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't. And taking a quick look at the back of the package, if you want to kind of read some of these, you can pause it and look at it. But it says Super Action Stuff, 18 Awesomely Mundane Accessories for Action Figures, it says Super Foodie Series up there. Obviously, this is an accessory pack, a food accessory pack. You've got quite a few different things here, some shawarma, some beer, uh, turkey leg, banana, all of that stuff. We're going to look at this stuff and see how it scales uh, with some of the... Um, uh, different lines that are offered or some of the lines that you guys collect and this is a very unique opportunity because we ACBA articulated comic book art is working uh, very closely with the uh, guys from this company to actually bring you guys a bunch of accessories not just food stuff so this is kind of introduction into this stuff and I want to get you guys on board and get some ideas and uh, get you guys in the comments below and see what else you guys might want to see uh, from the line these things will be offered on the ACBA website immediately following this video and I want you guys to support so let's get this open so I'm primarily a six inch scale collector uh, I do uh, dabble in a few things that seven inch scale uh, but I know as a collector and a display artist we're always looking for props and accessories to help accent the display and to help uh, you know bring that display to life and give it a little more Oomph, a little more uh, pizzazz uh, so this is something that was very attractive to me and sort of like what's happening right now with music as far as people streaming putting out artists putting out music and streaming their music and being able to go back uh, almost immediately and make adjustments to that music and put it back out and it'll still be streaming and it'll still go towards their overall streams <laughs> we doing something similar with this accessory pack here so uh, this is the pack that's out now that's uh, up for sale right now but uh, depending on the feedback that we get and uh, how people feel about these uh, we're gonna actually be able to go back and kinda uh, update some things with the paint and make some things look a little more authentic or realistic or whatever the case may be so I thought that was a very unique opportunity here I wanted to show this stuff and go over each item one by one and see how they fit uh, in scale with some of the figures from different lines so looking at this beer bottle accessory first, I think this looks pretty good as far as the scale, the shape, the size. I think all of that looks great, uh, but I don't think that it needs to say beer on there. I don't think that this logo needs to be on there at all. I would like to see this revamped and redone as just a generic beer bottle for the most part from the shape and whoever you have uh, utilizing it or, or whoever you uh, couple it with in a display people are going to know that it's a beer bottle so I don't think it's absolutely necessary for it to say beer I think it just needs this shape and it'll be fine but I do think this looks pretty good and as you can see it looks it looks good with the Rebel Tech Wolverine let's see how it looks with some of the other figures and there's the Mezco Redpool, Deadpool no problem with him holding it. Again, I think the scale is fine. That looks good. And a NECA Terminator figure. Obviously, Terminator's not going to drink a beer, but just to see how it looks with a 7-inch scale figure. And moving right along, we got an ice cream cone here. So it looks like two scoops of uh, strawberry ice cream, and I think this one looks fine. I don't think it looks uh, too cartoony or anything. Maybe some different color schemes. Maybe have vanilla or chocolate or something like that. But for the most part, I think the uh, paint work and everything here looks fine and I think the scaling looks good too and there's a uh, Wolverine I'm trying to keep it away from the lonely gourmet and uh, this is the Rebel Tech Wolverine once again and I think the scale there looks fine and taking a look at the pizza slice which I think looks a little on the cartoony side I think this one can be revamped a little bit and uh, just to make it look a little more authentic a little more closer to the pizza spidey pizza maybe uh, but it's not bad uh, it looks a little large, but I mean, in New York City, we've got all different size pieces. We got jumbo slices and stuff like that. So I think this can work for any scale. Uh, but again, I think I would just add a little more detail to this. 
and uh, it looks good though. It looks it looks fine uh, sitting in the hand and kind of hanging over the side. Very similar to the to the pizza that's packed in with the the pizza spidey. So no real issues here. And there's the pizza box since we're looking at the pizza slice, which I think is very thin. I think this box should definitely be a little thicker. Uh, I'm okay with it saying oven fresh and pizza hot and tasty on the front, but I don't know that it needs to say all of that. But I do like the color schemes. It is very Italian-esque, <laughs> so it, it makes sense. Uh, I just think that this could be a little thicker, but it is a, a great prop. It is still a great accessory that can accent your display, no question about it. And there's Parker with the pizza slice. So you can see, like I said, it does look a little a little large, but it works. I do think some of the more cartoony looking stuff looks better with the Dragon Ball Z figures. You know, it's all about aesthetics and what looks good aesthetically when you're when you're displaying. This is why oftentimes I don't display figures from different lines. I like my stuff to look really streamlined. I, you know, I don't mix and match different lines too much in, in, dis, in setups and displays. But I think the pizza here looks really good with Boo. Uh, you know, aesthetically, it just kind of matches that sort of cartoonish anime style. And I think the donut here looks good. And you can see it's sort of like uh, some pink frosting and some little swirls or something on there. And I think that looks great. Taking a look at the banana, which I think came out really good. Maybe adding in a banana that's not peeled, uh, that's not halfway peeled or, or uh, has a little bite out of it. But I like this one a lot. I think this is probably one of the, the best ones that can kind of um, be matched up with any sort of style of figure or line. I might maybe remove this sort of black tip from here or maybe make it just a little brownish and not straight black. Uh, but I think the sculpt and everything here is really nice and this can definitely be used for some funny stuff or some, for some serious stuff. I do like the way uh, this came out and that makes sense, right? I had this guy close by, so banana for the ape. And there's how that scales with the Figma figure. I could definitely swap out this hand and, and use a, a better hand for grasping here. But just to give you an idea of the scale, like I said, um, maybe the skin of the banana could be a little more yellowish. And, uh, you know, it looks a little green under this lighting. And taking a look at the beer mug, this is one that I think could be uh, revamped a little bit. I'm not really a fan of this little, uh, these symbols here on a mug. I don't think it's really necessary. I do like the foam spilling over. Uh, I w we did discuss this and I would like to see maybe just a set of accessories that are bar accessories. So beer, uh, mugs, glasses, beer bottles, all of that stuff into one pack. That is an option. And uh, just so you could kind of get your bar stuff together if you want to do bar scenes. Uh, but I think that uh, changing this up and making it just a clear beer mug would be cool too. Maybe with something in it, uh, some with something in it, some uh, that have nothing inside. Uh, but the sculpt and the size and everything here I think is is good. Turkey leg I think is cool. I, I, I keep envisioning this uh, as like a porg. <laughs> like I want to use it for uh, Chewbacca or something like that. It's a little bit on the uh, on the cartoony side though I think. I think this could be updated with just a little better paint to make it look a, a bit more realistic. Uh, maybe have some different options without the bite in it uh, or without the bone showing on this side or maybe just add a little shading or something to the bone. And honestly, when you get this pack, it's not absolutely necessary that they come uh, super highly painted and detailed. You can take to these and do, do your own thing as well. So that is... That's my bell. And that is obviously an option. I'm sure that's the mail. Maybe I'm getting a, a good package. But um, so, yeah, that's definitely an option. Uh, but, you know, I'm OK with this as far as the size. Turkey legs can be big as hell. So uh, I think this is OK. And that's how it looks with the with the Marvel Legend figure. And I think that looks fine again for something uh, comical, something jokey. Uh, you know, this goes perfectly with Deadpool. And I also think it looks good with Boo, so I think this would look great with for all of the Dragon Ball Z figures. Have Boo and Beerus fighting over food like they did in their initial meeting. And taking a look at the cell phone, which is a, a larger phone, which is fine. Some people have really big phones, um, so I think it scales well. And considering that the Mafex 
uh, Spider-Man didn't come with the phone, that is an option. I would probably have an option without the actual screen, without a number on there. There's actually a phone number popping up like somebody's dialing a number. Uh, so maybe to just have it blank, but I think the, the size works uh, for any line. And it's definitely a great accessory. That's always something people are looking for to do photos with uh, the characters taking selfies and all of that good stuff. Or just making a call, uh, you know, talking loud on a speakerphone or whatever the case may be. And I think that works out fine with scale for any line. And when Terminator 2 came out, was we walking around with cell phones then? Not really. I don't think cell phones was really popping then. But that looks good. And even if you don't want to use it as a cell phone, maybe you want to use it as a detonation device or something like that whatever you want to do but I think it was a nice uh, addition to the pack and as a look at the taco it looks very similar to the taco that we already received with the uh, juggernaut builder figure wave um, Deadpool looks like a similar size and shape it's just some different coloring you can see some lettuce and some cheese and see the meat and some of the sauce dripping over on the side there so some good details um, I think the color scheme and everything here is fine I don't really have any issues with this. I think this looks okay. And looking at the whiskey bottle, again, I don't think any of this is necessary, and I'm not really a fan of the shape on this one, but the color in here, too cartoony. Uh, this can just be revamped and just be a plain bottle or something like that. Again, you're going to know for certain that it's a liquor bottle. It can just have the label. It doesn't actually have to say whiskey, just like the beer bottle doesn't have to say beer. Uh, you know, you're going to know that it's a, a liquor bottle and not just a beer bottle because it's a little larger and uh, because of without whatever setting you, you put it in. Let me try to get this in his hand though. Just so you can see the scale. I'm forcing it in there. All right. So yeah, just so you can see the scaling and how that looks. Uh, but yeah, as far as size, I think this works. I just think it, it should have a, a different paint scheme. And it's funny that they gave us a Deadpool and gave us a taco and not a chimichanga. So obviously this works perfectly for Deadpool. That's his that's his thing. The chimichanga has got a bite out of it. This would work really nicely with the Figma uh, Deadpool too. It looks like he's chewing and even a different head sculpt for the uh, Figma uh, Lonely Gourmet. It looks like he's chewing something as well. So, you know, working with the figure's attributes and really bringing your display to life by utilizing the different head sculpts and hand sculpts and stuff like that to make everything look authentic. But I don't really have an issue with this. Um, I don't know, maybe a version without the sauce on the top of it or something like that. But uh, for the most part, the sculpt and the design of this is, is good. And there's a look at the hot dog, which is kind of large, but I mean, I guess this could be a sausage. Pause, pause on all of that. But, um, you know, you can see some mustard on there and you can see the bun. I think maybe some different options with ketchup or relish or something like that. Again, this is all stuff that you can do on your own, though, if you want to paint this up. Uh, but, you know, having multiples of all of these items to really get some different things going is uh, is a good idea, I think. Uh, but as far as the scale goes, I think this works out fine. You know, and again, I think all of these look really good with the Dragon Ball Z figures because, again, it's more cartoonish a little more anime uh, some of the more realistic looking items uh, look better with some of the other figures and taking a look at the water bottle uh, I wouldn't say that this is a 16 ounce bottle maybe 32 ounces maybe a little larger I don't think it's necessary to have the water uh, symbol on the bottle I think just a plain bottle would be fine clear um, but I like the size I like the scale for the most part um, and I think it looks it looks good. Uh, you know, again, this is the Figma Lonely Gourmet. Looks fine with him. I don't see that it would look any different with any of the other sort of six inch scale stuff. There's Deadpool. So you know, you can clearly tell that this is a water bottle. But again, I w I don't I wouldn't mind seeing a clear version. This is the uh, the Apple, and I would like to see an Apple that is not uh, bitten into. Uh, but I think the scale here is fine, and I think it's a nice uh, vibrant red. Looks like a nice ripe apple. And again, if you utilize the character's attributes and you get a character that looks like he's chewing or opening his mouth to take a bite, 
then you know it all looks authentic but again I'd like to see some apples that are whole and there's Wolverine taking a very dramatic <laughs> bite and there's the beer can but I think this color scheme makes it look like it's sort of like an energy drink and again it doesn't need to say beer it can be pretty generic and uh, this is something that you can paint on your own too but if it was offered straight up out of the package as a generic sort of beer can I think that would work better and we got the trifecta of Mexican delights here we already had the taco and the chimichanga and this is a, a burrito you can see it's wrapped in some paper and some aluminum foil and it's halfway eaten you can see the meat and the lettuce and I think this is nicely detailed I do think that the um, the tortilla or the uh, what do you call that I guess it's a tortilla I guess it's like a soft tortilla that you wrap a burrito in. I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but I do think it looks a little on the yellow side and it should be more sort of beige but again I'm nitpicking I've been pretty nitpicky through this whole entire thing for the most part overall I think all of this stuff is is excellent and I think it's a great way for you to get uh, you know a good amount of uh, accent accessories in, in one pack and considering the fact that there will be more of this stuff if you guys support it uh, then you know it's, it's good money uh, but yeah that looks good for Lonely Gourmet let's see how it looks in Deadpool's hand yep that looks great let's see what's up with Boo Yep, and even with Boo. And I think this is the final accessory. It's a soda pop. And just like some of the others, I don't know that it's necessary to have an actual logo on there, but I think it actually works best for the soda pop. I think this one actually is cool. It looks like it could be Sun Kiss or something like that. But I do think it's the right size. And again, it's a great way for you to get a soda can that looks authentic so great set here okay so this is the deal a link to order this set will be in the description below you can order them immediately after this video uh, goes live or immediately after you finish watching this video uh, these are not in production they are already complete uh, they're ready to ship uh, so I need you guys to support this line as much as possible by multiples by two and three and four sets and let's get this off the ground because the more that you support the more we'll have the uh, the capital to move forward with more accessory packs which have already begun uh, being planned out and uh, I think there are some things that you guys would be highly interested in. But in order for us to get to that next phase, you have to support these now. And we need to sell through the quantities that we have of these. So please support, buy up as many of these as you possibly can. And then you guys can also, in the comments of this video, put suggestions for things that you want to see, props and accessories, things that are fairly small now until we get to move on to some larger things I think that you'll find that a lot of the stuff that you want uh, to happen or you want to see we've already begun uh, mapping that out and uh, plan uh, plotting and strategizing for those things so again a link is in the description below let's get this off the ground let's support this and uh, put as many questions and uh, concerns and suggestions as you want down in the comments below so that way once we sell through these quantities we can move forward with the next um, batch and uh, with some new ideas all right so thanks for hanging out as always rate comment and subscribe and until next time peace